get out of here though. Hey. Welcome to the channel. Let me fix my mic real quick. Welcome, Maniacs. It's your boy, Aftermath. We are back for another full score. gameplay commentary for you. Today, we're actually going to be playing something we don't play very often. Um, we're going to be playing some Alawi in the top lane. I felt like, like just being a big, beefy tank that's in the middle of team fights that just does a ton of damage um, for no reason. That's what I feel like doing today. Um, we are going to be up against a Pantheon, but first and foremost, Runes and Masteries will be on screen, as well as full build in the description. Let's take a look at the lineup. Boom. So it looks like it's going to be myself versus the Pantheon top lane with Warlord's Bloodlust, which is a little weird um, because he's an ability-based champion, and Warlord's Bloodlust activates off of your autos, so he's not really going to be doing all that much healing. So it's strange to me. Um... In the jungle, we are going to have the Kale versus the Mordekaiser. In the mid lane, it looks like they have a Lux into our Echo. And in the bot lane, they have an Ezreal <laughs> Ivern into our Vayne Nami. So this should be a good time. Let's see just how hard we can punish. Ooh, this Pantheon. He's already up where he shouldn't be. Boop. There's some damage for you. Give me this minion, give me this minion, give me this minion. There we go, he's gonna block that and then I'm gonna pop him in the face. There we go. So I'm gonna get a couple of good thwacks off on him. And the thing about Alawi is, not only is she tanky, not only do her abilities hurt, but they cost damn near nothing. That Q, that tentacle smash, cost me 40 mana. Next, I'm going to get my E so I can start punishing him. Let's just do this. I don't know what you really think. There's a flash. <laughs> oh, can I? I would love to kill him. Oh, come on, tentacles. Do it. Do it. If I can get another one. Boom. There it is. Beautiful. Alright, let's get our W. Yeah, I don't think this Pantheon truly knows what he's doing, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. So I am going to get an early kill. I'm gonna just going to... That's just probably one of the easiest kills I have ever gotten on any champion, let alone a Lowie. He, he kind of just let us beat him up. So we're going to push that lane out, and then we're going to go back. I am obviously going to be going for a full tank build, but I think I actually want to go for a Triforce. If I can actually snowball hard enough, I think I want to uh, Triforce it up. That sounds like a good time. So, because I can, I'm going to wait for another 20 gold. I've already gotten the kill, and I'm up by 6 CS at 3.5 minutes in the game. So I'm going to wait for a little bit more gold, so I can actually go back with a Longsword as well. And then I'm just going to walk it out. So I've got my, everybody says to max Tentacle Smash first, but I feel like I want to max my E, my Test of Spirit. The next time, um, the next time we level up, I'm actually going to look at what each ability gives as we level it up. I'm pretty sure on the Q, we just get cooldown and damage. I think on the E, we get cooldown, we get damage transfer um, as well. Okay. Oh, I have to clear this wave though. Now. That's cute. Alright, so damage echo from 25 to 30%. Uh, the cooldown goes to 18. And the mana cost goes up to 40. Let me just punish him real quick. And in this, 15% slam bonus. Alright, let me kill him. I'm gonna go ahead and get my Q. I'm, 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 this is gonna be a ridiculous game, and I apologize. I know you guys like to see a little bit of a competition, but, okay, let's do a little reading. And I didn't even max my ability. Um, Slam gives me... Passive slam damage increased by 15%. So it's 
so this would actually go up to 20%, so my damage goes way up, and that actually echoes through, yeah. Okay, so Q is best, not because of the actual ability itself, now I understand. Q is best, I want that. Q is best because... Uh, I'm gonna teleport. Uh, that was a bad TP. That was a bad TP. So I have my ultimate now. I'm actually going to... That was a bad TP. I thought that fight was going to be lasting a lot longer. Anyway, what I was saying is... Maxing Q is best not for when you activate the ability yourself, but because of the echo and what it gives you onto your tentacles. Um, because if your slam bonus damage is getting increased by a percentage every time you up it, that's not just echoing on top of your Q itself, but it's actually applying to your tentacles that spawn around you. So every time you hit an E and they smash down, every time you, whenever you use your ult and you get extra tentacles, all those tentacles are doing extra damage. So I definitely would do that. Plus I get healed. Slam is physical damage. I am healed for 5% of my missing health. So let's do this, this, this. All right, let's see if I can't get him close enough to grab a spirit and then just uh, put a little punishment on him. And then we're gonna clear that. Let's do this. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna drop that there. I'm gonna drop another one over here because I did just see Kale in the vicinity. So if I can go in this region and grab him from here, then my tentacle can actually smack down on him. There we go. I'm going to use that to clear. Ooh, thank you. Look at that. Look at that. I didn't lay a finger on him. And that's what his health looks like now. And there's another kill. So for that, I am just going to flash... E, I think it is. No, flash W E. Let's clear this wave out. Um, and I'm going to do that because what that does is it. I flashed, I W to close the distance, and then I Q instantly right in front of him because he just he couldn't get away from me. So this is just literally going to be too easy. Oh. Life is the sweetness of fruit and the joy. There we go. Battle. And then Boom. Let's see how fast we can get. Oh, he's back up. Alright. So we can actually go back now. Um we're working on a black cleaver first. We can get that. We can actually get our Caulfield's Warhammer. That's gonna give us 10% CDR, 25 AD. Plus actually I think that's all it gives us. Yeah, that's all it gives us. Beautiful. So from here, I'm going to be looking for another TP. That last TP I tried to do was just downright awful. Um, so that we are going to be the 3-0, our team. <laughs> oh, okay. So as I was saying that, the enemy team just got their first two kills. So it is now two to the enemy team's 10. All right, let's see. I have my ultimate, but I really don't need it to kill him. I am two levels ahead of him. Let's do this. Let's clear all of this. And I barely use any mana. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. I'm going to drop this here just in case the Kale wants to come back for a little more fun. Oh my, that actually didn't do as much as I thought it would. But, all right, you smash, boop, oh, oh, so much. Had he stunned me there, he actually might have stood a chance at doing something worthwhile. But he didn't. He didn't do anything. Look at that. 
The amount of wave clear you have, especially if you have tentacles in the area, is kind of ridiculous. Oh, not quite. If you can stun me, that's your best bet. Or you just can take damage for no reason. Yep, just continue to take damage. It's so weird. I don't understand. He's trolling at this point. Oh, that's why. Never mind. I understand. I get it. <laughs> I was questioning what he was doing, but it was obvious he was baiting me in for the Kale. So I don't even have enough mana for my ult. That is a downfall. My, my abilities don't cost very much, but at the same time, um, I have very, very slow mana reproduction. So that's definitely something I have to look out for. Oh, excuse me. Let's see how close I can get one in this bush. Oh, yep, there she is. There she is. Hey, look at that. <laughs> oh man, I got close, and uh, and that <laughs> Kale, no, the deer, uh, Pantheon flashed away. That is awesome. I love this champion. I have to be in the mood though. I have to be in the mood just to stand and trade. Just to basically be in the middle of everything. Because that's all she does. Uh oh. Are you giving up? Are you ready to die? I'm just gonna push this. Where is he? Oh! There's even more damage. This tower is gonna go down. What's up, buddy? And that Pantheon. Oh, look. More people to kill. Oh, I'm gonna run away. There's too many of them. I'm not gonna be able to get away from that if I try. And I'm gonna try. I mean, if I tried to fight that. Ooh. All right, that's fine. <laughs> I'm not really worried about that. <clears throat> They're actually uh, the Mordekaiser is a little upset with me because he died, but I was fighting. I couldn't help that. I'm gonna go ahead and get. Do I want Merc treads? I don't think I don't even need Merc treads. I'm gonna get Swifties so I can actually. Rampage. Let's think about this for a minute. Yeah, I think I want Swifties just to keep from being kited. Um, from here, I think I want to go ahead and get my Trinity Force. It's going to give me a little bit more mana as well. Um, this Pantheon is pretty much shut down completely. So I can go to any lane, really. I'm just going to TP here because I'll, it's going to take too long to walk up and uh, I can push this out actually pretty successfully. There we go. Now I can get on this tower. And there's just nothing they can do about it. 4 and 0 oh at 14 minutes. It's kind of ridiculous. I wonder. Hey! Ah, oh, come back. I want to play. Like I legitimately want to I want to fight this kill. I think I can win. All right, let's get another point in our ultimate. We still haven't even used our ultimate. So I would like to get in a situation where I actually need to use my ultimate. This looks like the best of any situation. I'm going to run in. I'm going to ult. And uh, let's see how much damage I can do. Let's see what I can do here. What's up, everybody? Look who's coming in from the back. Oh. Well, obviously, I got snared to start, so that wasn't a good way to start that team fight. 
Let's go ahead and get our Trinity Force. I started things off though, and I did a shit ton of damage, and then my team came and cleaned up, so... I would call that good, I think I got two assists out of that. And they're gonna be able to get that tower down, no problem. I now have a Sheen, so it's gonna hurt even more when I do my Empowered W. There goes the tower. From here, I probably want to go ahead and get this. But I'm just gonna walk through because I got a long walk ahead of me. Um, I need to get take a watch off. I gotta get all the way back down because my TP is down. I TP'd down there. I should have tried to set that fight up probably a little bit better. Um, but they chunked me really hard to start, so I really wasn't able to lay down the damage like I wanted to. But that was my first death. I'm four and one now. So I'm really not concerned. We have four to their zero towers. They have five kills. So, color me concerned. If I can grab a soul thingy. I'm gonna get out of here though. Eh. That's a double kill. <laughs> That's what I wanted to see. That was the ultimate I was looking for a minute ago. Alright, so let's... Uh... There's another one. And another one. Come on. Come on, Pantheon. Come on. Well, that's just a shame. Oh! God, that vein just decimated you, didn't she? It would be really good at death stance. Because, I'll tell you why. Um, so on my passive, 5% if slam damage one or more enemy champions, uh, it allow me to heal the 5% of missing health. So I'm actually only healed when I actually land a slam on an enemy champion. So by getting Death's Dance, anytime I land a slam on anything or do any ability damage, like I hit them with my W, I'm doing damage with my E, the the Echo damage, um, I'm going to get healed for that as well. So I'm probably going to get a Death's Dance. And because Alawi is such, she is a tank and so she's designed to be built that way, her AD scaling is off the charts. So right now I have 182 AD, but my Q, my Q slams for, my damage is increased by 102. So it does 182 plus 102 damage, I think. Don't quote me on that. No, I guess it doesn't. Because it only just did 218 damage. So my tentacles slam down, okay, slam deals 156 true damage plus 284. Crazy amounts of damage. Just all the damage. Reality is I want to grab somebody's soul. My ult is actually back up. Uh oh, uh oh. Alright, coming in. I want some booty. Swiggity sweetie, I've heard. Look at that, clearing out that back wave. This is such a done game. Oh, look! It's a pantheon. <laughs> I dove into the fountain trying to get those kills, um, and I was able to do a lot of damage, but unfortunately we're going to get put out of base here. Well, actually, no, I was the only one that went down, so that was definitely a two-for-one fight there. Here comes the tidal wave. Oh, Mordekaiser is down. Everybody's just diving now. This is, this is a straight-up throw. Yeah, she's going down. I mean, it's not a throw. We're so far ahead. Oh, they surrendered. There you have it. A little bit of a Lowie in the top lane. She, in my opinion, is just super broken. Um, to be able to run into a team fight and do that, 
um, and this the way I was punishing the Pantheon, if I can grab his spirit and beat it up and do enough damage to where the spirit goes away, the damage mitigation that it does to him, and I don't even have to come close to him. And if he does come close to me, then I can throw out my tentacles and my W, which makes my passive tentacles actually hit as well. They'll hit the spirit that I pulled out, plus him doing even more damage. It's 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 insane. I had a blast playing that. I love playing Alawi during certain situations, and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching it. You all know the drill. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. It's Aftermath. Checking out. Peace.